We are looking at a Cartesian product. Cartesian product is denoted by cross sign. Okay. Let's suppose I have a table of employee. Okay. It has and we also have a table called department. Okay. The employee table has values like has attributes rather like name, employee ID, department name. Okay. And the department table has attributes like department name, let's have department name on both the sides, and department manager. So let's fill this up, we'll have some random values over here. I would like to have around three values in employee and around two values in department. Okay, so let's say we have Jim, ID is one, two, three, name is say finance. Then we have Joanne, ID is two, five, four. Department name is marketing and we have Tim, ID is 678, department name is again finance and here we have department name finance, manager Rob, department name marketing, manager Sean. Okay. Let's complete this table. So now the cross product of employee and department is a cross product basically relates one row in a particular table to all the other rows in the other table. So, the number of rows in cross product is equal to the product of the number of rows in the two tables. So, this employee table has three rows and this department table has two rows so this is the arity of the cross product of employee and department so we say the cross product of employee and department would have six columns sorry uh, this is not the arity this is the number of columns, sorry, the number of rows and the arity of a cross product table is the sum of the columns. 3 plus 2 is equal to 5. We have three columns, name, employee ID, department name and we have two columns in department, department name and manager. Okay, do not confuse between these three threes which are common. This three represents name, employee ID and department number, department name. This three represents Tim, Joanne and Jim. Okay. So let's see what do we have in our result. Our result would have five columns, name, employee ID, department name, one more department name, 
and manager okay and we would have rows as gym gym 1 2 3 gym 1 2 3 gym 1 2 3 was finance 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 marketing okay rob and shom rob and shom there would be more rob and shom and there would be one more couple of rob and shom finance and marketing finance and marketing the next is joan 254 marketing joan 254 marketing joan 254 marketing and the last guy was tim 678 finance tim 678 finance tim 678 finance so this is the table which i get when i do the cross product of employee table and the department table okay it has five columns and it has six rows now we will just study this table for a while look here we have two rows with gym one is associated with the department finance and other is associated with department mark marketing similarly for joan we have two rows one for finance one for marketing and two rows for tim finance and marketing again basically if we had to find who was the manager of the department in which jim works then we are interested only in this row okay here i see the department name is finance for jim and the department name is finance for the manager of finance okay while in this row the finance department of jim is related to the marketing department managed by shon so this is not of value to me so that's basically a drawback of a cartesian product or a cross product it basically relates every tuple to every other tuple in the other table we are done with cartesian product now 